is the story of Alaji Yusuf Magajibichi, CFR Fellow War College, as Director General of Department of State Services. Leaders come under constant scrutiny. More often than not, this scrutiny and the resultant critique is done by people who are out of the jurisdiction of these leaders. This ought not to be so. Only those within the sphere of influence of a given leader can correctly judge the impact of such leader. Clearly, DGSSB in four years has raised the bar of service and leadership as can be seen even by the blind and heard even by the deaf. In the humongous investments he has made in infrastructure, human and welfare resources, which have in turn boosted operations and staff morale and, on the whole, repositioned the service. DGSS Beach's five-star work remains appreciated and valued by members of his team who know him more than all outsiders do. Let's turn to them and hear the one assessment that matters. The supreme quality for leadership is unquestionably integrity. Without it, no real success is possible, no matter whether it is on a section gang, a football field, in an army or in an office and court. The coming of Yusuf Magadibichi, FWC, CFR, since 2018 at the DGSSS, has through his rectitude, candor, astuteness, temperate consideration of the welfare of personnel, and insightful directives on strategies for success of intelligence driven operations of this service, engendered an uncommon reckoning with the service by critical stakeholders and the generality of Nigerians and has most importantly boosted the morale of personnel to an unprecedented calibration. The DGSSS, in his impeccable exemplification of qualities exposing a good leader, has midwived numerous innovations in both principles and initiatives, some of which have transformed the service to one which personnel are proud of and to an organization esteemed and resorted to by Nigerians from all walks of life as a dependable security outfit. This include, among others, impactful intervention in challenging security situations in River State and other federating units of the country. I humbly express our immense gratitude to the DGSSS for its good virtues and pray fervently that God in his infinite masses will continue to guide, protect, and direct his steps in all his endeavors. There's no doubt DSS has been transformed during its tenure administratively and operationally. We have come to the command now to be proud of the facility. The DG has embarked and completed a number of prototype office and residential accommodations at various local government areas. He has built a zonal surveillance center, a canal, to cover north west of the Pacific Zone. We appreciate his commitment in developing human capacity. On behalf of the Female Special Intervention Support, SIS, we are here to thank the DGSS for the wisdom bestowed onto him for creating this great unit and for putting his trust in us as females and impacting on us the knowledge to tackle security challenges in the country. We want to say a very big thank you to the DGSS. This is the first SIS Female Intervention Support so far from the beginning of the service. I want to really appreciate the DGSS for putting his trust in us and making us a reality to the service. Thank you.
here in Borno, during this period where the DG steered the ship of the service, operationally we have achieved a lot. He is sponsoring so many non-kinetic operation measures where a lot of progress has been achieved, including the presently experienced uh, mass surrender of BH element. As regards staff welfare, this is not hidden. A lot of personnel in the command have been ginger to work much in the service to put in their best because their welfare is being taken care of. So the command has gotten a first lift. If you enter this command, enter this office and all other offices around, you will see that yes, we virtually have a brand new command. I have an accident last two years ago and my leg break two place. I have Receive uh, assistance from my Oga DG. My leg survived. They have now caught my leg. So my leg is well now. So I thank for Oga DG. God bless him. It's my great pleasure to be here today to acknowledge the leadership and contribution of Daddy YMBG to the development of the service and my career in particular. Uh, the year 2021, when I had a near fatal accident, the news got to him in the office and he directed his director medical to locate me and do all that is necessary to keep, keep me alive. And I'm very, very, very grateful to him today because without his intervention, I think I didn't have been here today to, to talk to anybody. I owe him a lot of credit. So I want to thank him immensely and wish him well. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate our education, father of all. Why my daughter was sick, he came through for us because she was diagnosed with cancer of the bladder, which when we asked for assistance, our daddy here supported us even without knowing us. He assisted my family and I want to appreciate him for that. Thank you, sir. DG, sir, we are your special children, the special threat and assault tactics team. And we are special because you have made us so. Now you've changed our level and we can stand shoulder to shoulder with the Navy SEALs and the British SBS. You have exposed us to the best international training facilities. You give us morale and everything, equipment we need to do our job. And so I will continue to draw inspiration from your passion for the service and for the country. I want to say thank you so much, sir, for everything you have done. And may the good Lord continue to bless you and reward you for all your good work. Sir, bring us sir, for the DG. Do sir! Do sir! Do sir! Do sir. Do sir. The world can now confirm, and it is true that Alaji Yusuf Magaji Bichi, CFR, fellow War College, has in the last four years as Director General, Department of State Services, left a legacy that will be difficult to clean from the hearts of those who encountered him. Now, therefore, please stop, rise, and welcome the People's DG, the most compassionate Director General. <laughs>